So the first step you're gonna come through is called cuffing. You're going to cut through the skin surrounding the wrist and ankles. The point of doing that is so that you can peel the skin over and remove the skin entirely. Also, a little trick, most people use scalpels. If you use an X-Acto knife, it works really well for clearing away connective tissue. All right. I thought it was green blood for a second. Yeah, so there's not gonna be any blood in it. What they're doing, yeah, it's a horseshoe crab. Uh, so, you do not, you're not gonna see any blood here. If you see anything red or blue, that is latex. Blue latex is gonna be for veins. Red latex is going to be for arteries. All right, so now that that has been cuffed on all four legs, you'll always start and go from bottom to top. Always this way, all right? So as a start, you're just gonna make a small incision, poke through just a little bit. All right. Can you post this on my learning? Yeah, I'll post it. Imagine a rat in red heaven looking down this doing this. I heard the tearing of skin. Don't we all? Ellie. Mr. Riley, you must be pro at this doing this all day. Look at Riley. I'm pretty sure that's not fair. She's like, yeah. Are you crying? She looks so peaceful. Uh, so this is the skin and fur right here. These are the muscles underneath. So I'm exposing the muscles first. If you want to grab one of those trash cans and keep it near you, you're welcome to. Oh. All right, so you're going to go through, and you're going to actually remove what skin you can. You're going to remove what skin you can. Just seen third period. Third period came right after lunch. Oh, yeah. I for a second. Uh, what what you say? They were not. They were not feeling it. A few people from um, Mr. Martin's second period. Mr. Martin doesn't have. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, it was from the first. That's why I'm not going to leave off the I think I know we're going to make a bigger mess than this rat. All right, so that's the first step. There, you've gone through and separated all of this part to separate it. You're going to go down, and you're going to do the same thing on the lower end. So you're going to follow this lower end. You're going to go below the legs so you can completely remove that next. Now again, th while this is similar to skinning like a deer, it's not the same. So if any of you guys hunt, this is a little bit different. I've had deer before. It's good. Never had deer. All right, so the reason I use an X-Acto knife instead of a scalpel, guys, is this right here. You see this is connective tissue. It's connecting that skin to the muscle. Mm -hmm. You're not cutting. You're just scratching with the tip, taking the tip of an X-Acto knife. Was this a male rat peeling? This one is uh, actually the first female of the day. Wait. No, it's a male. <laughs> yeah, I think we all know why. That day is a boy. Boy. All right, so get lucky. this right here, you're gonna go through, and you're just flaying away the connective tissue. It's like filleting a fish or something. No, yeah, kind of, <laughs> a little different. <laughs> Close. Well, hey, fish All right. is good. That looks like fish a is meat delicious. Chick All right. They pump out the blood and they pump in the latex. Is that why it shriveled? Shriveled? Yeah. Shriveled. Okay. Okay. Let it die. Let it die. Okay, let's shrivel All right, so. Rip the rest of the lyrics of that song, which no one will know. I've seen that movie. Oh, I see. I see something. All right, so. 
You can also take the back of it and rake against it. That way you don't have, if you're worried you're gonna cut an area, you can, still can cut an area with this on accident, but it's a lot harder. Go through. And then what you're literally gonna do, is you're gonna skin that boy. Ah, I can see it's teeth. Hello. No, I really don't, guys. Them out. You know what's funny? What? I won't watch someone like I won't watch a human get dissected, but I'll watch an animal get oh, dissected. I think oh, that, I heard heard a that actually completely checks out. That's not I just weird. heard like a bone breaking. Yep. Yeah, I broke his arm. Oh. Good job. Good job. I'm gonna love with you guys. That's part of the dissection anyway so later proud on. Of you. All right, so you know, get a spot to put your finger through behind here. This is what I wanted to Guys, pay like attention. Shh. And you're going to do what's called degloving. Boop. Here's a little paw. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I had shells on my hand. If inside I was too literal. Have you been here this time? Is it bad that I am doing this? Yes. No, well, I guys, I'm the whole, guys, the whole point is that you're supposed to enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, you can leave. You enjoy it, but you feel bad for enjoying it. It looks so yeah. much worse. All right, so. You're breaking the rabbit bone. Degloving step two. Thumb through. Don't break it's ribs. Boop. Oh. Oh. It's ripped its arm. Start. I can smell it. Oh, I did. Once you apply a little bit of pressure here, so and come through, and you're just going to cut that connective tissue away. What you're smelling is not dead rat. What you're smelling is propylene glycol. I can't you're not supposed to see any organs yet. This is just exposing the muscle underneath the skin. So, I see all the red veins and blue veins and all that. that I'm not disturbed. All that gas? Yeah. No. I'm not. A little. No. Riley's not disturbed by it. Alright, so. That last part. Again, through here. And coming through. It's a little harder to deglove the... Legs. Legs, but again, you put a thumb through. Boop. Oh. A little juicy. All right. All right, so this one, you cut some of that connective tissue away. Like Push the leg up a little bit. Get in there. There'd be a lot of blood. Oh, yeah. Boop. This part's very, this part's very slippery, fair warning. So, but this part, you may have to come through and cut away the skin. Uh, it shouldn't. Let's be honest, it shouldn't. Nah. Alright. Didn't they use this meat for lunch? They don't. They completely dispose of the um, rat after. Yep. All right. There you go. Who wants a nice fur coat? Me. Yeah. Give it up. It's so juicy. All right. So. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's so all the skin. All the skin has been removed. This is all muscle here that you're seeing. All this pink. Yeah. Where do you tell us that we're at the boy? You tell us the boy. Right there. External <laughs> testicles. So. So, once you've done that, I'm showing you now the skeletal system and the muscular system. All right, so. Muscular system is all this. This is all skeletal muscle. What if you just see a twitch? Skeletal muscle. This is all skeletal muscle. All the pink you're seeing here. For a skeletal, or sorry, for a skeletal system, you have to listen. Oh. Oh. So, those would be the bones in the legs. It's a lot easier to do that than it is to expose it because the rat's bones are extremely small. So again, the same way you did at the beginning, you start at the bottom and you give yourself just a little start hole there and you take some scissors. Come through. First time I've seen those yet. Interesting. I'm very interested. Oh. 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 Never I, oh, this reminds me of... You guys are welcome to come up It looks like there's a little... Oh, what is this? Oh. oh. What is that? Oh, wow. Hey, 
They look like oh. they look plastic. Ooh. It looks like metal. Excuse me, Mom. Oh yeah, you're tall. Oh my god. Look at the TV then. Mom, we should spot your Same exact thing. See, that's why I'm looking up there. I can see its face still. Oh. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, I can see the intestines. All right, so that part's oh, easy to that's fly like apart. A photo of that? Uh, yeah. What's that? So that part's easy to fly apart. This is the rib cage starting here. So because your rib cage is largely cartilage, but you can see by this part on the scalpel. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to use these. You can't just use the scalpel and come through there. So you want to go, and you want to use the lower part of the scissors where it has a little more force there. Oh, that smells like magic marker. I don't know what a magic marker smells like. <laughs> Maybe he's used one before. Oh, my God. Break the, wait, after you're done with yeah, the... Yeah, what is the black thing? Is that his it looks like a turtle After you're done with the... No, it's Mr. his ribcage. Oh, there's oh, heart. Oh, one there's second, guys. Oh, one second. All right. Strawberry. Listen, listen. It looks like a tiny strawberry. So... First things first, which is your cardiovascular oh, system the, the heart. and your respiratory system. Everywhere you're seeing red and blue is a latex, which means those are arteries for the red ones and veins for the blue ones. So this little heart? flap right here, look, it was running across right here, yeah. along okay. the bottom of the lungs. Uh -huh. That's your diaphragm. When that contracts, it's going to pull in the bottom of your lungs to help fill them full of air. Hmm. All Everybody right. Everybody just takes a deep breath. All right, so right here, your heart, right there. It's a strawberry. And these are your lungs on either side. Oh, that's you sure that's not strawberry? Do you ever think the rats in their own little world do the Pledge of Allegiance? They got out. Uh, patriotic rats? Rat? I would say yes. You can say that. Where's the heart? Is that where the heart is? Uh, where did my blade go? No. Mr. Mount, what is that? <gasps> there it is. Ah, excellent. Alright, so, here we go, finish with this, cut through the costal muscles. After we're done with the, with it, could you break the rat's neck? I could. Alright, so, this, you have your heart, that's heart and lungs. These little side pieces are the lungs. Can I take a good picture? So, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the top here, you're just going to go straight through. Straight through. Once those are separated, you can come down a little bit. Oh, that's a spinal. I think it's spinal. All right. Cord. I want a picture of the heart. Is that disgusting? No, you're going to get one in a minute. So, very delicately remove the heart and lungs. <laughs> delicate. 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 There you go. I removed the heart and lungs. So, as you see here, you have the blue, that's gonna be the deoxygenated blood, your veins. The red is the arteries. So, different chambers of the heart are color-coded accordingly. So, these are your lungs attached to it. One is bigger than the other, same as in humans. So, I'm gonna remove the lungs from here. Again, very carefully. Very carefully, Mr. Mount. Very carefully. All right. tiny heart. Yes. He does not no, love much. That's so what I, was I don't. Like let's see if I can get it to do. In my other periods, it would work. So let me see what I can. No, I'm not gonna pop it. No. One second. Can you name it Angel? No. Can we name it Ratatouille? Ratatouille. In the beginning, I was like, it looks like the like. All right. Let's see if this will work. It may not. What are you trying to do? If you squeeze it just right, nah, this one don't do it. What is it? If you'll squeeze it just right, you'll see coming out of the arteries, the aorta out of the top, you'll see a little bit of water go pump out. But yeah, so you can take it apart entirely. I am now see the different start. parts. Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm still good. Uh -uh. I'm so, I'm good. I'm good. Mila, you ready? That's the heart, that's the lungs. So, next. Just the system. You have nothing here, just right? Yes. Yep. Yay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go between two of the ribs. I'm just going to go down just a little bit there. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little bit and goes down to the entire spine. Aren't, rat, aren't rats' um, ribs like almost entirely cartilage? Yes. Because it allows them to cut through holes easier. Yep. 
survival techniques. All right. So there are your pins. Oh, that? These are to hold everything out of the way and in place as, it stabs you my as you take them apart. So the first part, this is going to be the liver. It's right here on the top. That's big. Now, it's a massive liver. You are right compared to ours. Why do you think that would be? So Because they eat a lot of like food out of trash cans, so they need yes. to die. They need a Rats eat bag. everything. They need a good liver to process that stuff. Again, very carefully remove it. <laughs> very carefully. Just rips it out. Very carefully. I want to be right with the top of the whole thing. Your intestines and hold it and bite it. I am you're going to. You're feeling it. Is it like Our mushy with the liver? Is it like solid? All right, so don't forget the pancreas. Yeah, you guys go ahead and sit down. That way, everyone can see like they could earlier. All right, can y'all see okay? Is that the stomach? You're gonna see. This is the stomach here. All right, so when I pull on this, do you see that top part that's yeah. moving? I'll put a probe on it. This part right here. Yeah. That is the esophagus. <laughs> That's the, the tube that food travels from the mouth all the way down, connects to the top into this. And that is what's going to lead to, as you pull it out, the top of the stomach. This looks like shrimp. It looks like a weird shrimp. I just said that. A weird shrimp. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to trace you guys all the way through the digestive system. Uh, it's very solid, very hard delivery. Very mushy. All right, so this is the stomach. Here's your esophagus leading down into it. What comes after the stomach? The intestines. Small intestines. Small intestines. So thin and long. Is it very fragile? Well, I just accidentally ripped it, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's okay, though, because there's more. But wait, there's more. But wait. There's more. I didn't know you were Billy Mays. Oh, there's the kidneys. Hi, Billy Mays here with another it's fantastic the product. I love the kidneys. Introducing the, the liver. All right, so. Whoop. Mr. Mount, in the, the back, are those the, the kidneys? kidneys right now? They are the kidneys in the back, yes. yes. All right, so. One second. Man, this guy is really fragile as far as his intestines. Oh, all right, so I'm gonna open this up just a little bit. You'll notice, you'll notice this. What is innervating all of these small intestines? That looks like a web. Oh, what's inside the web? Oh, uh, web. Spider-Man. What? What is that? Arteries. Arteries. Blood supply. You're running this blood supply all through them, so that when your small intestine soaks up those nutrients, they can go directly into your bloodstream. So, yes, I took off about three or four inches, including the stomach. However, apart from that, here it is all stretched out. Whoa. This one's a little shorter than normal. So, small intestine, small intestine. You get it here, and it's the large intestine all the way back down. So, this is the large intestine. You'll notice it's a lot thicker and a lot shorter. The rectum is going to be buried down in there. So. That is your small intestine. If you ever need a rope, you know where to find one. <laughs> Weight Watchers program. Boop. Need a rope. And there you go. That's removed. Large intestine is pointed out at the bottom there. Yes. All right. So now that that has been removed, you also have what's this in the back? Kidney. Kidney. I've never seen somebody try to waste the word kidney. Uh, you won't be able to check these for stones really because they can be very small in humans. They'll be microscopic in these guys. All right, so the kidney, as you remove it, Let's see if we can see it. It's a little hard. It looks like a bee. It's covered up quite a bit, but if you can see it in there, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. It does. I'm not laughing. It does. 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 It does
case you can see that, there's the kidney. You can see the ureter coming off of that a little bit. The ureter is the tube that leads from the kidney to the bladder. To get the urine. Yeah, see, there you go. That little one still connecting it. That's the ureter. It's going to be right here. I like Mason's joke. What's all that yellow stuff? What is Mason's The kidneys. I'm recording. Therefore, if you have questions, ask questions. Don't tell stories. So, here you go. That is going to be your ureter. Carefully remove it. You have your other kidney. You notice one was a little higher than the other. So, here you have your other ureter. Carefully remove it. All right, so. Yeah. Is that water in it or? This is the more of that propylene glycol and water. That's the preservative that helps whoop, keep it from rotting while it's being stored. What's that yellow stuff? Fat. Visceral fat. So you see the spinal cord running down the back right through here. Can you see that? Let me, I might have to scrape some of this away. Mr. Mouth. Pulled pork. All right, so here you can see, ooh, maybe not. Here you can see that spine running down. I'm gonna trace that up into here. And do you guys wanna see the brain? It is pretty awesome. Hey, hey. You want to see a dead rat? No, I'm good, thanks. Thanks. Where's the... I don't really do dead things. Where's the more of, I like, alive things. It's a, it's a but you have more. a student that was supposed to bring you this stuff that I forgot. Ah, uh, I see. Science-y stuff, so... Hey, you Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. I thought they...